Hey guys, so I wanted to come to you with a super fun uh, St. Patrick's Day directed drawing art lesson today. So I thought I would uh, hop on here and do a quick video because I know you guys have been doing so awesome getting all of your work done and you're probably due for something fun to do, right? You wanna do some uh, drawing today. So it's something super easy. I'm just using a piece of uh, computer paper so really easy to find around the house. Now we're gonna be doing a uh, directed drawing like I previously mentioned. And what that means is you're gonna draw with me step by step. Now I'm gonna be using pencil, but I'm gonna go back in with my black marker just so you guys can see it a little bit better. But when you're drawing with your pencil, I want you to draw really light so that way if you make a mistake, super easy to erase it with your pencil eraser and then you are good to go and move on to the next step. So the first thing we're actually gonna draw is our leprechaun's body. So uh, we are gonna go right here, kind of halfway up. And I'm gonna draw one part of his body and then another part of his body. He's kind of a round little leprechaun here. It's a little bit darker, as you can see. It's okay that if you like have multiple lines drawn over, because once we color this all in, you won't be able to tell. So I have my little leprechaun body here. Now he needs a head. So what I'm gonna do is right above, I'm gonna give him his little head. And we're gonna kind of do it like a, a U or a smiley face, whatever helps you better describe that but kind of a little you right there for his head and then I'm gonna meet his shoulders with his head he has no neck <laughs> all right then he needs some arms he's super excited to see you and he loves St. Patrick's Day so we're gonna give him some little rectangular arms on the side here all right, and then this is why I said I wanted you to draw light because we're actually gonna draw over some of this and then I'm gonna erase my old pencil marks. So I'm gonna give my little friend here a beard. So he's gonna come around. Oops, stop, there we go. And then I'm gonna go through with my eraser and go ahead and erase his shoulder marks. That's why he doesn't have a neck because his nice big beard covers it. So there is my lovely leprechaun beard. All right, well this guy needs his most important feature, his awesome hat. He needs a little stovepipe hat. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a little brim here. I did a straight line across. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make a really thin rectangle, just like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and follow that all the way up. And my hat's actually gonna go off my paper. His hat is so tall that it's going off of our paper today. All right, next I'm gonna go through and I'm, he needs a nice big gold buckle on his hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a square. And then I'm gonna do another square inside, like so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause right there, let all my friends catch up. So, so far we have his nice round belly, his arms, his beard, the shape of his face, and his nice sto stovepipe hat, nice and tall. All right, so this buckle needs a band to go along with it. So we're gonna go ahead and make just two parallel lines. My first graders just learned about parallel lines the other day across so now he has a nice band on his hat all right now let's give this cute little guy a face so his eyes we're just gonna do two little black circles like so a little button nose and then he needs a nice big smile all right, then he needs some hands. So we're gonna go over to his hands here, two lines for his wrists. Then he needs his thumb and then his four other fingers. Kind of like you're drawing 
french fries. I don't know why that made me think of french fries, but they kind of look like a McDonald's french fries sticking out of a little box. So now my leprechaun has his little McDonald's french fry fingers and his thumbs. This thumb is very tiny. Let's make him have a bigger thumb over here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now that I have my leprechaun, he needs some buttons on his little outfit here. So let's give him one, two buttons. And that is my leprechaun. All right, now, I what is a leprechaun without a rainbow behind him? So let's go ahead and add a rainbow. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There you go. And our rainbow is we're gonna come up from the side, go all the way through behind him, do another piece. It's okay if they don't exactly match up. And there is my rainbow behind him. I wonder if there's a pot of gold on the other side that we don't see on this paper. So there is my little leprechaun with his rainbow behind him. Now the fun part, the coloring. Now, I think that you can color Mr. Leprechaun in whatever supplies you need. I am gonna be using crayons, but you could use watercolors, you could use markers, whatever you have around the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and use crayons. So I'm gonna do his, his face here real quick. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my black marker because we'll make it a little bit easier for everyone to see our cute little leprechaun we just created. I bet your guys' looks great. So I'm just gonna trace all my lines. If you guys wanna do this, you can. But if you're gonna watercolor, I would recommend watercoloring first and then going in with the black marker. Because sometimes if you do the black marker before the watercolor, it kind of gets a little runny and then you get black in your colors, which isn't fun. So we're just gonna trace our little friend here. Oops. If you guys end up doing this art activity, please comment with your picture that you did or send me a picture or post it. I'd love to see how your leprechauns turned out. I bet they're gonna turn out great. I think it's always fun too because leprechauns are with the rainbows and they're so colorful. My first graders, did uh, leprechaun traps and they created some pretty awesome leprechaun traps. All right, I'm almost done. Whoops. All right, he is all traced. So I was gonna go ahead and start coloring him. Do his face, his hands. His beard, I'm gonna do bright orange. Cause I just think that's super fun. I don't know if leprechauns actually have orange hair. I've never seen a leprechaun, but I'm gonna say they're Irish, so yes, they do. All right, then for my leprechaun's outfit, of course he has to be wearing green. So I'm gonna make his whole outfit green. I'm gonna go over around my buttons here. I haven't decided what color I like my buttons. Hmm. 
He's out to him gold. So I'm gonna color my leprechaun. Do his little sleeves. All right, so I think I am gonna do them gold. I don't have gold, but I will use yellow. I'm gonna pretend. So I'm gonna make his buttons yellow. I'm also gonna make his little belt buckle. Uh, or I guess it's not a belt buckle, it's not on his belt, huh? His hat buckle yellow. And then I'm gonna make the band around his hat brown. And then I think he's gonna be wearing, hmm, I think he's gonna wear a black hat. And I don't have a black crayon, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my marker out again. And I'm gonna color his hat in black. And then while I'm coloring his hat black, I need to color in his eyes black. Oh, that looks so much better. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the top of his hat. And I'm gonna let my hat shine through the middle of his belt buckle, or his hat buckle. And I'm gonna go up and color the top. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start on my rainbow. Take some purple on the bottom. I think I'll do green next. I think that'll be pretty. Do some green, make sure I get behind his fingers. Do green in this next one. All right, and then after the green, I think I'm gonna do some blue. Ooh, I really like this blue. I'm gonna try this blue color. It's kind of like a robin egg blue. And then after blue, let's do some yellow. And then my last color I'm gonna do is orange. All right, and then if you want behind him, I'm gonna do like sky behind him. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole rest of his background blue. And that my friends is our leprechaun. I hope you had a fun time drawing with me. Don't forget to date your artwork and write your name and give it to someone you love or send a picture to friends that you can't see right now. And um, just have a great St. Patrick's Day and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks, bye.